I'm Rob Pond with Ocean Marine Group, and today we're going to go over the features and benefits of the Key West 23-foot Bay Reef model. One of the unique features on all of Key West boats is they foam fill the whole hull. They foam all the way up. Not many manufacturers do that nowadays. And what that does for you, it gives you a quieter ride. It is unsinkable. You can cut this boat in half. It will still float. It just, it's just a solid riding boat. Starting on the bow of the 230BR Key West Bay Boat, you have your anchor locker. It does, all Key West come with a anchor already in the boat. Most manufacturers do not do that. Your trolling motor plug is inside the anchor compartment, so it's out of the weather. Nice four bolt cleat to tie off your rope when the anchor is thrown out. Also on the front bow, you have a nice insulated box. The latches do lock. You have nice gas hinges to hold up the lid. Nice insulated finished off. You also have an insert for your five gallon bucket inside the boat there. So on the front bow, you have this nice live well here. Uh, again, the latches do lock, so you can lock that bait away so nobody can steal them from you. Uh, nice and finished off. Most other boat manufacturers will put their live well up front, right in front of the console. You can't have another live well here in front of the console. But right now, this is an uh, ice chest. It is insulated, but you can't have it plumbed for a third live well on the Key West 230BR. Stepping down into the base of the boat, you have also have another compartment here for storage. Plenty of storage on the 230BR Key West. Another insert for a five gallon bucket to keep your cast nets and such, whatever you want to put in there. Moving over to the rod lockers. Again, all of these latches do lock. The rod lockers are nice on a gas hinge. They hold five seven and a half foot rods will fit in these rod lockers on starboard and port side. They also have a drain in the box, so if you could double them as a fish box, cooler, or whatever you want to do. Again, the rain drainage system, the water runs into these drainage systems and out of the boat, not into the lockers themselves. We have stainless steel pull-up cleats, stainless steel cup holders uh, throughout the boat. Again, this is your built-in cooler. You can have the option as a third live well also if you want it plumbed out. This particular boat does have a fresh water tank on board. That is your fresh water fill right there. On the Key West 230BR, you do have a console that opens up. You can put a porta potty. There's plenty of room for storage and so forth. Nice little feature here. Uh, the wives, you know, they got to have that porta potty. On the gunnels of the 230 Key West BR, you have rod holders. These rod holders will hold, you have an insert for your tip in the back. These will hold 10 foot rods on that one insert. The insert runs the, all the way to the back of the boat. Of course, you have rod holders up on the gunnel also. More stainless steel cup holders, more stainless steel pull-up cleats in the stern of the boat. Going to the dash of the Key West 230BR, we have this boat with the electronics already from the factory. We have a nice Garmin 741XS. It does have the upgraded Polk stereo system. This particular boat does have trim tabs. These are here on the Key West 230BR Bay Boat. Nice leaning post with fold-up bolsters. Nice comfortable seating. You can also have the tilt wheel up so you have plenty of room so forth. Very relaxing. Everybody loves the leaning post with the backrest so you can just sit back and drive the boat. Here on the stern of the Key West 230BR, you do have the jump seats. They are lockable so they won't rattle when they're not in use. We don't have the cushion right here, but you will have a cushion right here on the jump seat. In the center is your main live well. This is a 35 gallon live well. You also have your raw water wash down that hooks up to the water that feeds the live well. Moving over to the other side, you have the other jump seat, of course. So plenty of room for the family when you're not fishing out those days. They have plenty of seating on this boat. Going to the more stern of the boat, you do have your battery switches here. Uh, your batteries will go in the console or for your trolling motor batteries. Uh, and then you also have more storage. Again, you have the rain 
uh, gunnels here that directs the water out of the box. On this particular Key West 230BR, we do have the optional hard top. Real nice hard top. It is powder coated. It includes speakers in the hard top. You have a cargo net for your life jackets. Nice rod holders, four rod holders on the back of the T-top. Very well built T-top. You also have a radio box with your VHF radio, storage, whatever you prefer into this box. It also has LED lighting on the front and the back of the hard top. Real nice feature. You Here on the floor, you have your drainage system. The water will go through these drains here and straight out the boat. The water will not go through the bilge pumps. So it's self-bailing deck, uh, all fiberglass, composite. There's no wood in this boat in the 230 Key West BR. Here on the back of the boat, you see your integrated trim tabs uh, that are integrated inside the boat. That's a really nice feature. Also on the Key West 230 BR, you have a setback transom. So that helps performance of the boat. And you can also put the six inch uh, Atlas jack plate, hydraulic jack plate. That is an option on this particular model. This has been a preview of the 230 BR Key West. Nice, fabulous running boat, good looking boat. Come see Rob Pond today and I'll put you in one.